what's up guys ash here back with another video summer's here the heat is here and i'm bringing in more heat for you guys so today we're going to review reviewing the easy 700 v1 wave runners Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So without further ado, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight into the video. So today we have the Yeezy 700 V1 Wave Runners. Now, as you guys can see, I didn't get these shoes off Yeezy Supply, nor was I able to get it off of Yeezy Confirmed that or the Adidas Confirmed. I'm sorry, sorry Adidas. I wasn't able to snag on any of them, but lucky for me, I was able to enter a raffle for end clothing, and I won. So these shoes have been released probably like three times already. And every single time I try to cop, I took an L. Like Adidas, Supply, I mean, look at me just ruining all these names. Yeezy Supply, Adidas Confirmed are gracefully handing out L's for every single, every single shoe, every single Yeezy I try to cop gracefully with a smile on their face but this time i entered the raffle and of course you guys can see i got it so let me open them because there's actually two boxes right now so so well, one box is there. one box right up the end clothing which is a i think it's a it's a, a eu clothing factory or something like that i really don't know i know i entered the end this shoe's real that's what that matters so anyway I just got to open the box because I want. Oh, dang it. I get an envelope which stays on. Let me see what it says. So basically, it just shows how much I paid for the shoe. So I paid resale, retail for the shoe basically. I think the shoes actually started out. The year that it that it was uh, released was probably like 240. I'm not sure. I may be wrong. Maybe 300. I don't know. It was it was uh, the first of its kind. So basically, I paid. Uh, let me see. I paid. Oh, look at this. I paid. I know. I know what's on it. I know what's on it somewhere. I paid over. I paid three hundred and forty-five dollars uh, for this shoe. Now you guys will say yeah, that's way. That's basically a resale. Yeah, you guys are actually right about that. It is. Uh, it's, it is over resale, over retail, or the retail price. Uh, it, but every single, everywhere you guys went to to, uh, to uh, like apply for or to enter the raffle was like three forty, three fifty, forty-five, something like that. Over three hundred, obviously, because of the just the hype that it has. For this shoe, so there was a the, the lady who picked me. Me was uh, M W. I don't know her name, but shout out to you for picking me to own these uh, Yeezy three. Uh, I mean, uh, three fifty the the seven hundred V one Wave Runners. I appreciate you. Um, if you're watching this, yo, hit me up on IG, Snapchat, link with me, cause I'm gonna need some more more of that when I when I enter the raffle again for some other Yeezys. Uh, appreciate her and thank you for and clothing for allowing me to have these shoes as well so let me take the box out of the, out of the, out of the, I'm gonna take the, the shoe box out of the box let's see here. Uh, 
Oh no. No, her, her name is Karina. That's what it is. Karina. You know what to do. Subscribe, like, add me on Snapchat, add me on IG. Hit me up. Like me up with some more shoes. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. All right. So, let me. We don't need that no more. Thank you, though. Um, so, look at the box. 700. 700. No V1s on it. So, boost on the side. Yeezy Boost 700 made by Adidas. Adidas Tree Four logo. Then we got. Let's see. Uh, we got also the Tree Four logo on the bottom too, just so you guys can see that. Then right here we turn right up. We got a. Uh, we got the, the the sizing right. And I what I just noticed is, if you get Yeezy from outside of America, like if you guys people from EU would get this sizing. But the normal would be just my size enlarged and then the other sizes listed to the side. But if it's a EU or you know a China, you know, base shoe, not base shoe, but if you guys order it in there, it would, this is a size tag that it would be it'll be that you'll be given. Because I ordered in the UK size, basically. That's what I did. I ordered in UK size to get my American size of the shoe. So I ordered a uh, 10 Av in my UK size. But I got my size, which was 11 in the US. So kind of confusing. You guys gonna get used to it. And then they slapped the stick on it. It said Yeezy Boost V1 UK 10.5 Wave Runner. Wave Runner. Let me open this box real quick. It's the moment of truth, guys. Okay, that's fine. Right here. Boom. Let me take the let me take the over here. Boom. Oh, look. Prime video. We ain't finna watch that right now. We ain't we ain't we ain't doing that. Let me go back to the yeah. Oh an ad? Really? In my video? Not in my video. Oh um, yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. But look at the shoe. Here it is, the Yeezy 700 V1 Wave Runners. I know you guys are gonna get tired of me saying that, but I'm gonna keep saying that, because I like it. I like the iconic name that this shoe was given, the classic dash shoes of dash shoes. Um, as you guys can see, the mix, the, the, the mix of colors, the color blocking in this shoe is really phenomenal. Phenomenal, let me get the other, let me get the other shoe out real quick. I want to blow this head up real quick. Nah, so, look at that. Yeah, right up. To the side, right up. I want you guys to just look at it. No words. Bam. Anyway. This shoe was the first Yeezy 700. This shoe was released, I believe, in 2017. Don't know the exact month, but I know it was released then. And when it was released, nobody was really about it, surprised about it. Not, I wouldn't say surprised, but really trying to get it. But then when they started seeing Kanye, the creator of the shoe, wearing it and seeing how he was wearing it, it started beginning the effect, the Yeezy effect, started getting more hype. So, after probably a couple of photos of him posting in this shoe, the retail price, resale price, I'm sorry, shot up to probably like 800, 700 for these shoes. Hard to get, hard to get, to get, to get these shoes. Then he really re-released it last year. As you guys, as I told you guys, took a L on that one, took a L on that one. So, they released it again. I think two times this year or two times last year, but both times took an L on them. So that don't even matter. Cause the third time I struck out with a dub, with a W on these shoes. Anyway, so as you guys can see, it's mostly made up of grays and whites in the shoe. The bottom sole, outer sole is black 
with the, you know, because this shoe does have boost in it. So it's a white, white boost and the, you know, the midsole being white with a splash of black and orange. And these orange right here are very, very, very interesting. These are also on the Inertia v, uh, V1s 700. Um, don't have those, but I might get them in the future. But not right, not, not right now. I was going to get them, but nah, this is my priority. But you guys can see the neon yellow or neon neon uh, green laces. What this reminds me of is the Super Moon 500 Yeezy. Um, this is what the, the color looks like of the shoe. The Super Moon? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you guys have the blue right above the toe box and the gray on the toe box area. I think you guys also have a dark greenish olive right here on the side. And then the bottom suede. It's a mat. It's, it's mixed up with very, very, like a lot of materials. Oh, yeah, a lot of materials, but it, it does come around and it does make the shoe special like it is. So as you guys can see right here, this blue area, green area, mesh. Toe box area, gray. Upper of the shoe, gray. Then you guys have this side area, which are reflective, and you know Kanye loves reflective. Um, and then you guys, you guys don't notice it, but you guys, when you put put the light on it, they got three stripes right here, right under the mesh, right on the gray mesh. Yeah. Inside, Yeezy, Adidas. Let me look at the other side. Other side has these tags over there. This, not, not American eyes. This is a uh, U, U, uh, UE. We got some tags on the side. Then you guys also have the Yeezy inside. Um, Contability of this shoe. Same as every single boost shoe I've ever worn. Um, soft, comfortable. Just, just have, to, I have to break it in a little bit to get, actually get really used to it. When I did put these on, I didn't really like the way it was looking, looking at me, but that's every single Yeezy shoe that I do have to, that I do start wearing. Like, it just doesn't look right to me at first. And then when I start getting used to it, it starts looking right. So, the tongue, hold on, let me see. Yeah, the these uh, string straps in the middle of the shoe, they're also reflective. Tongue, gray. Uh, a lot of reflectives on this shoe, especially the back. Right here, these six holes, no, oh, I did not notice that. It's actually 16 holes in the back. I thought it was six on each side, but it's actually in total 16, so eight on each side. And every single hole is reflective. So, overall, this is a great shoe. When I ask you to cop it now, wait, because these days about to come up. So, cop on Yeezy Day if they do drop. But if they don't drop, go ahead and cop it, because they will be, uh, they wouldn't, I don't think they will be uh, restocking us until maybe like next year. So, with that being said, without further ado, Let's get on to the outfit.